All right, so you have this intense desire to move to another country, to move to another state, and you're not too sure on how to approach it, what to do, you're a bit scared, you're a bit fearful, but also underneath it all there's an element of excitement, of curiosity. Well then keep watching this video. So when I was 19 I moved from Melbourne, Australia all the way to Los Angeles. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl. I knew that it would happen. I didn't know how, but I kept my faith and I kept my belief. Firstly, you have to believe in whatever dream you have. So whatever destination you want to move to, you have to believe that it is possible. And you have to believe in yourself and that dream. You have to know where you're going. You have to have in your mind's eye the destination that you are trying to get to. So just say, Canada. Alright, I want to move to Canada. There we go, that's the first step. You know where you're heading. Then from there, I'd sit down and say, all right, so if I want to move to Canada, what do I have to do? So the second step would be to write down a list of things that you need to do or know to get to that location. So just say with Canada, I know that I have to get a visa to live there. B, I'd have to find a place to stay while I'm over there. I'd have to find a job to support myself while I'm over there. And those were the three main things that I would need to get over there. So once I know these three things, all right, let me go research them now. Find out what visas you need, find out all the information needed for the visa, find out locations, where's the prime location in Canada to situate myself with, which is also gonna align with what I love, dancing. So I've gotta find a location that supports both of these things. The third step would be putting it into action. All right, so you have all your information. Now it's, all right, let's go and apply for this visa. Let's give all my documents, let's do this now. Each moment, each step is about drawing this destination, this uh, dream into your current reality. So it's taking little steps, even if like for one day you just want to be like, all right, Today I'm just going to take an action of visualizing myself being in this place. Or today I'm going to take the action of going and seeking out people that live in Canada and asking them questions about where's the best spots to train at for dancing? Or where's the best location to live in that feels safe? Fourth step would be to rearrange my current reality to suit the next reality that I want to step into. So if I'm moving over there, I've got to clear out my closet because I'm not going to be able to bring all these clothes over to that place. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. That would mean decluttering my space. That would mean preparing my mental space for being alone on my own. Then my last thing is to act as if. Act with full belief in yourself that this thing is going to happen and knowing in self that yeah it's gonna happen when I moved over to America for a full year 2018 I had fallen out with my dance studio that I was at since I was 10 years old I was working at Krispy Kreme I was working at Village Cinemas and I was doing dance classes here and there but also always maintaining my freestyling always maintaining this belief that my dream of moving to LA is going to come true. I always, no matter what the, my physical circumstances were, I always knew in here that it was going to happen. And with this knowingness and belief in self, every motion, every moment that I was in was always with this belief that LA is going to happen. And so that just meant every experience I was in, I was grateful. There were some moments where, yeah, I felt down because I'm like, well, I'm here, how am I going to get there? But there was always this inner belief, inner knowing that it was going to happen. And that's when I just, I guess I was in a, a motion of surrender. When I was at Krispy Kreme, I worked at the airport Krispy Kreme. So I was always visualizing myself hopping on that plane and moving over to LA, always. And I was always communicating with customers and listening to their travels because 
they've been everywhere. Some people were from Ireland, some people from America. And I was always in this state of knowing that it was going to happen for me. Even if I was working at Krispy Kreme at the airport in Melbourne, I always knew I was going to be in LA dancing my heart out. Trusting and knowing that in this very moment, you are here for a reason. And trusting and knowing that each moment from here is a guidance to where you want to be into that location that you want to be at. All right, that's it for this video. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.